this video, we discussed an algorithm to sort a set of students in the non-decreasing order of their height. We said there are n number of ways of doing it. Today, let's apply another algorithm to solve the same problem. Before moving on to the algorithm, let's think what could be one possible way to solve this problem manually. You have a set of students standing in a line. Suppose you move across the entire line of students and pick the one with the minimum height. You swap this minimum height kid with the first student. Now start from the second student, move across the entire line of students and pick the minimum height kid out of them. Now you swap this minimum height kid with the second student in the line. You repeat this process starting from third kid, fourth kid, fifth kid till you have only one kid left to pick. So what pattern do you observe? What do you get in the end? Let's see. So how do we actually sort a set of elements using selection sort? That's the question. So what we need to do is find the minimum element position in a set of elements from i to the last minimum position. i is some i, you can, we'll see later. Swap the elements present in i with element at minimum position. Now i, what is i is? i is appointed to an element, incremented at each stage. Selection sort has to be done in a couple of stages and you know exactly how many stages by the end of this video. So we have your five elements, 8, 6, 9, 4, 2 with positions 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. In my first stage, I'll consider i to be 0. Minimum position will be considered equal to i at the beginning of every stage. So we have your minimum position to be 0. We need to compare this minimum position element with the rest of the elements, right? So now the minimum position is 0, element at 0 is 8. We'll compare 8 with 6. 6 is minimum, so position of 6 is 1. We'll update minimum position to 1. Moving ahead, we have the minimum position element 6. We'll compare it with 9. Minimum is 6. We'll leave minimum position to be 1. Next, we'll go ahead and compare 6 with 4. So, 4 is minimum here, so we'll update minimum position with the position of 4, that's 3. Next again, we'll compare the minimum position element 4 with the next element, that's 2 in the array. So, it will be like minimum position is equal to position of 2, that's 4. By the end of this, we need to now do the step. Um, yeah. So, swap the elements present in i with element at minimum position. Element at i or 0 is 8 and element at 4 or minimum position is 2. So we have done the swapping swapping here as you can see. Moving on ahead with the second stage. We have i as, we'll increment i by 1. So i is now 1. Minimum position at the starting will be 1. Now we'll consider just this part of the array as 2 is already at the position it should be for the sorting process, right? We have the minimum element at the beginning of the array at the position 0. So we not touch it, we should not touch it. We should now move ahead with our rest of the array or rest of the set of elements. That's for position 1 to 4, 6, 9, 4, 8. So here the minimum is obviously 4. So our minimum position would be 3. We will do the swap again with the position at i, that's 1. And the minimum position 3, that's... So 1 contains 6 and 3 contains 4. So we will do the swap as you can see. Moving on ahead with the third stage. Third stage, uh, again we'll increment i, that's 2, minimum position will be 2. Now in this part of the array, we'll have 9, 6, 8, so minimum here is 6. So minimum position is again 3. We'll do the swapping of the element at position i and at, position, at the minimum position, right? So why did we skip this one is because one also has the element that it should already that sh it should contain so we need not touch it anymore at every stage we'll be reducing the array right so at the third stage we have done the swapping this is our array after swapping next time this is the fourth stage we'll have i as three we'll have an increment i y1 and a minimum position as three so out of the out of nine and eight eight is minimum so our minimum position would be four We'll again swap the element present at i with the element present at minimum position. 3 has 9 and 4 has 8. So we have swapped it. 
after this you can see that our array is sorted we have got we have already got the sorted array and we need not go for a fifth stage because at the fifth stage our i would be 4 that's the only one element so there's no point finding the minimum or swapping with the same element again so we'll skip that part and we'll do the like the number of stages in selection sort would be number of elements minus one so here we had five elements so five minus one would be four four stages that's it about the selection sort procedure this is how it actually works we'll now see the structured algorithm here we have the algorithm for selection sort ready to be implemented in any programming language. As you can see, it belongs to complexity class O of n square. It accepts two parameters as input. One is the array with positions 0 to n minus 1 and another one is n, which is the number of elements in this particular array. Now we have one i loop uh, that is for number of stages and we have a j loop that is for finding minimum each time. So that's all about selection sort algorithm. You can find the link below for algorithm and its implementation in various languages in the description. So do check it out and thanks for watching.